Hundreds gathering tonight to hear from Detroit Police Chief James Craig and talk about his plan to crack down on violent crime. Glad you're with us here at 11. Tonight's town hall meeting comes amid a wave of gun violence, a lot of it involving children. Already this year, 16 children have been killed in shootings across the city. Pamela Osborne is live tonight with how tonight's meeting was received. Pamela. Karen Devon, there were easily 200 people who turned out to tonight's meeting. People of all ages looking for solutions to the problem of violence that so many are experiencing here in the city. What we came here tonight to do is to strategize, come up with some resolve. What can we do? Creating a safer city for all was the topic discussion at a special meeting Thursday night where community members came together with city leaders and law enforcement officials to talk solutions. Well, I don't care how many officers you hire, it's going to always be more civilians than you have officers. So what are we going to do as a community? to stop what's going on outside a grim reminder of what drove people to pack this room in the first place tombstones marking the lives lost to violence in the city I will never become desensitized to a child losing their, losing their lives in our city when I know there's so much more we can do. Chief James White brought the panel of mental health professionals, faith and elected leaders as well as community ambassadors together and to the people. Among the topics discussed, ShotSpotter and how that technology could make a difference and perhaps would have for a little girl killed by a bullet that was fired by a group of teens playing with a gun. Had there been ShotSpotter, we would have responded to the first time they shot in the air, but there wasn't and we didn't. Cornelius Well and other street leaders brought several young people to participate in the discussion. He left feeling like there was more he wanted to this, hear. This, this gauge our community where it says that the poverty is driving us to these crimes. Yeah. Let's deal with that. Yeah. And we spoke to City Council President Mary Sheffield. She was there to listen and learn to particularly about the shot spotter. Council will be deciding on whether or not to fund that program, the expansion of that program throughout the city. But she also said that it's important to support these uh, community intervention level organizations that are out there doing that work as well. And she also talked about getting DPD up to staff. They have about 400 vacancies right now, so they can respond to shots spotter and other tools that are available to them. So a lot to consider here reporting live tonight. I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. So much to consider, but I'm sure everyone agrees something needs to change. Thanks, Pamela. Mm -hmm. I said Chief Craig off the top there. I, of course, meant Chief White. Uh, my apologies. I fell into a time warp.